Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can set up a free billing system to keep track of everything. What we're going to do is we're going to go down in our C panel for our regular hosting to Fantastico Deluxe. Now remember, when you set up a hosting reseller account, you also have a C panel with that account. So you have your WHM panel for looking after your hosting clients. You also have a C panel to look after your own domain that your site is on. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to Fantastico Deluxe. Okay, now we're going to roll down until we find the hosting billing products here. Okay, hosting billing. You have on this server we have Account Lab Plus and PHP Coin. PHP Coin is the one I'm going to show you here. Of course, you can use any billing system you want. There are some that are free and some that you have to pay for. PHP Coin is free, so that's why I'm going to show you how to use this one. So click New Installation. Okay, and then I'm going to put this in a subdirectory. Which you're probably going to want to do as well. And then give it some admin details. A okay, site name. Okay, so this is going to be the the name of your hosting company. Okay, install PHP Coin. Finish. Okay, and then this is where we can go to the admin area. Okay, so here we are. So we'll put in admin and password. Okay, so here is our front end. Now we have to go through the setup process at this point. Now on this page you have a bunch of information that tells you about the status of your server, your clients, your help desk tickets, your orders, etc. You're going to see all this on this page here. Okay, but what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go and set up our plans. Okay, now this PHP coin is capable of doing far more complex tasks than we need it to do. Okay, so we're going to set it up for our use, which is basically so that the client can sign up can pay us, give us the information we need as far as domain names concerned, and then we can set that up for him. And then we will receive his payments on a monthly basis or however we've decided to do it. If at some point they cancel their hosting, we can come back to here and then we know which domain they belong to and we can keep everything in order. Okay, it's, it helps us keep things organized is really all this is for. Okay, so what we wanna do at this point is go to admin and this is where we can administer how we need things to work. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up our products. Okay, so we have our products, vendors, pay links, IPNs. So let's go to products. Okay, we have a sample hosting product and a sample non-hosting product. Okay, so let's add a new one. Okay, we're going to set the status to on. Name. Okay, so we set up a 50 gig hosting plan. Okay, and then we give it a description. 50 gig of disk and bandwidth. Okay, and then the unit cost here, we'll say 2.99. Okay, the way the tax is going to work, okay, we'll have to set that up a little later. Uh, client scope, 
Okay, all visitors, all active clients are grouped to find. We're going to want all visitors because we want all visitors to be able to see that. Okay, down here, domain type, NA because it's not really a domain, it is a hosting. Okay, now this is the number of domains they can have. So we'll. Okay, so that we set this up the way we have it here. We'll just put 999 or 9999 actually might be better to, de to uh, designate unlimited. Okay, and then we click add. Okay, there it is. So if we go over to listing now, there is our new plan. So let's we can delete these other ones here. Okay, we'll have to come back and do that later. Okay, vendors. Okay, we're going to use, now you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna use PayPal. Okay. Okay, so just make sure it's turned on here and save. Okay, you can go back to listing. And any others in here you want to use, you can turn on as well. Back to admin. Okay, so now let's go to pay links. We're going to add a new one. Okay, then we're going to select the vendor ID, which is PayPal. Then we're going to select the product, which is our 50 gig. Okay, here we give it a description. Okay, now we have to put our pay link in here, actually. Forgot to put the description. Okay, so in the description, put 50 gig slash. No, let's make it a little more than 50 gig disk. The gig bandwidth. Okay, now here we need to put in what's called a pay link. Now you can put really anything you want in here. Depending on what you're using, you could put in, for instance, if you just wanted them to send you a check, you could just give them advice to do that here. But since we're using PayPal, we want to use a proper PayLinks. And I have supplied you with the PayLinks for just a one-time payment and a subscription payment in the resources document. Okay, so I put in the subscription code for this and saved it. Okay, at this point, we have our payment part set up. So we'll continue with this setup in the next video.